Hello, dear friends and lovers of emerging cricket. Anyone who watched the ICC Women's T20 World Cup qualifier, or indeed the Women's T20 World Cup, will know that there's plenty of talent in the world of associate women's cricket. Many have argued for these players to be given opportunities in full member T20 franchise leagues, yet places in these leagues remain at a premium. Today, the Board, of, the board for Control of Cricket in India, the BCCI, announced the squads for the third edition of the Women's T20 Challenge, also known as the Women's IPL. The big, big exciting development for fans all over the world is that Thailand's swashbuckling opening batter, Natakan Chantam, mm. has been selected to play in this tournament. You may remember Natakan from her cover drive laden knock of 56 runs against Pakistan at the Women's T20 World Cup in Sydney earlier this year. It was an innings that took Thailand to 150 for three and put them in the driving seat for an unlikely victory against their more illustrious opponents before rain played spoiled sport. Chantam's selection for the women's IPL makes her the first ever women's associate player to feature in this tournament. And tonight it is my great privilege to be joined by none other than Natakan Chantam. Hello Natakan, how are you going? Hello Nishad, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> That's good. Um, look, it's it's uh, it's been a difficult year. You were in lockdown for a few months. The 50 yes. over World Cup qualifier was postponed. You've had no competitive cricket since uh, the 3rd of March. We okay. thought you might get a contract for the Women's Big Bash League. Mm. This is equally exciting. How are you feeling? Um, I am still quite shocked. And I'm very excited to be selected for such a high profile tournament. We have not had a chance to play any competitive cricket since um, the World Cup. So I am very excited for this opportunity. <laughs> oh, fair enough. And uh, I suppose you've only found out about this opportunity in the last few days, mm -hmm. but um, I wanted to ask you, what are your goals for this tournament? Uh, what, are, what are you trying to achieve uh, from participating in this tournament? Mm, hopefully I can put in a solid performance. Even when the opportunity is hand to me by the team and help the team with my ability as much as I can. I am really excited to be playing and training alongside the bet, with the best player in the world. Yeah. And is there anyone that you're particularly excited or looking forward to playing with or playing against? Yeah, I pick Mitali last because she very consistency in her betting and um, very classic, basic, everything she very um, good at betting. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I suppose, yeah, I suppose a real legend of the game. Um, but tell me a bit more about how you have been uh, keeping fit and how you've been training in these uh, strange uh, times of the pandemic. What kind of training have you been able to do? Uh, what have you been focusing on uh, within that? Yes, I have been back in training since May. I have a set fitness schedule and I have been working mostly on improve, improving and tuning my skills. It's been raining quite a bit in Thailand, so it's been a good chance to really focus on certain skill and area of my game indoors well and i suppose you'll have the opportunity in in less than a month to to be out on the pitch um which I, i'm sure is very exciting in and of itself um what does 
participating in the IPL mean to you as, as a cricketer from Thailand? And I suppose for all, all women's cricketers in Thailand and indeed uh, in the emerging cricket world. Yes, um, for myself being selected for the IPL, it's a major milestone for me as a cricketer. Hopefully my achievement can inspire more Thai girls and even more girls in our region to keep playing cricket. Yeah, well, and, and that's, I suppose, the, the ultimate goal uh, for, for everyone who wants to see this, this sport uh, expand uh, and grow beyond its traditional horizons. Um, are there any, any final comments, Natakan, that you want to share with us today? Um, I would love to say thank you for my team and um, my coach for good advice and he changed a lot about my mindset and mentally and um, my association to like a good supporting me. So if I didn't dare support, I would not be where I am today. So that's why I would love to say thank you all of them. Well, and thank you, Natakan, for your time and for sharing this moment with uh, with me and with Emerging Cricket. Uh, we yes. will, of course, be following your performances uh, very closely in November, and uh, we wish you all the very best for the tournament. Sawadee Sawadee